Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna discuss all about how you can create an analog clock with date and time, and also have a future like a dark mode analog. Right? So let's look at that. How we can create that? So I'm gonna close that and open my code editor. Inside that, I will use. First of all, I'm gonna use Python and assign a class toggle. Inside that, I'm gonna use start mode like that. Then I'm gonna use clock container. Inside the clock container, I will use clock. Inside that, I will use model times by three. On each needle, I'll use hour. This will minutes. Mm -hmm. And this will be second. After that, I will use the class center point. Alright. Once you've done that, then inside the clock container, I will create a time there. Inside the time there, I will use manually uh, static data. Then I'm gonna use tight. Inside the data, I will use Monday. No. Span tag. In the span tag, I will use two. So this is our HTML page, so I'm gonna open it in a minute. Live server right now. Then I need to go on the style.css. In the style.css, we need to reset the property step one. Uh, yeah. So padding margin uh, margin is zero. Box size in border box. And then I will select just a minute. I will select the root create a variable primary color, and this will be like the secondary color. I'll use the FFF. Right. So this is black and dark. And then I'm going to select my HTML whole document, and I'll use the transition all 0.5 as an right then also i will select the html dot dark mode when the dark mode will active then i need to get those variable the primary color is fff and the secondary color is 333 right and also we need to change the background color as well so in the dark mode i will change the background uh, like a 111 and also I will use the color uh, plan color like that so so this is our simple and short code all about the dark mode and also have a transition right so let's move on the next one so I'm gonna select the body and I'm gonna use one family poppins and sensor then I want to display the content in the center of the page so I will use display flex align item center justify content center and i need to use height well 100 percent 100 vh vertical height and our flow id is hidden then i need to select my toggle means button tag because we need to work on the button to yeah display that in the top of my page cursor is pointer background i will use var primary color color is var secondary color and I'm gonna use border none, uh, border radius I will use 5 pixels best and then I will use padding top and bottom 0 0.85m and uh, left and right 1.5m then I will use position absolute because I will move it top 100% and also I will use font family inherit finally I will change the font size is one by set and look at that so this is button this button has been moved on the top of my page right cool so let's uh, also I will use the toggle focus means when user will focusing on that I'm gonna use outline now so, and yeah it's perfect so let's select the color container the first step i'm gonna add the background color first we're gonna set it right now right color container 
then I will use this plus flex uh, flex direction I'm gonna use column and just if I run the space between then align it with the center so uh, everything in the center but I need to work on the clock right so the clock I mean its position is relative and I will assign the width 250 and height also same 250 also I'm going to add the border 3 pixels solid or primary color and border radius I will use a little bit of border radius to round the corners and I will do margin bottom to make a space and I'm going to spawn from the inherit so and look at that so this is our clock section and this is our date time section right so let's work on the needles needle and in the needle I will use background wall um, primary color and I'm going to use position is absolute and yeah I use the position relative on there and then we need to use position absolute then we're gonna add the content inside the clock right perfect then I'm gonna use top 50% then I want to display the content in the center of the box I add 65 pixel is best and I will use with 3 pixel and first we're gonna save it now let's look at that right now and I want to move that in the top of my top of this section. So I'm going to use transform, uh, no, transform origin, uh, bottom, and center. Also, I will use the transition because it will move with the help of transition. So, right? This is only one, but we will work on that to display the hour minute and second so i'm going to select the needle hour so i'm going to change the transform translate so yeah transform translate 50 percent and 100 percent then i need to rotate that zero right but uh, yeah uh, i need to check that need a hover transform translate uh, negative 50 percent rotate zero and yeah everything is perfect and then i need to select the same thing but this time i'm going to select the minute in the minute i will use same thing but inside there i will use height 100 percent 100 pixel so uh, right perfect but then you will change the okay one more thing i need to use that dg right but when you will change the positions like um, right now as you can see it's moving right now guys right but i'm gonna use zero right and then the third and final one is second so uh yeah perfect mm, just a minute also i'm gonna add the background inside the second is e uh, hash e 74c 3c right so sir right but uh, i want to display those lines inside my box so i'm going to change that is negative 100 percent negative and also negative those are also more. yeah perfect so let's uh, change the position this time i'm going to use 30 degrees so it will move on the right side and also you can change the degree it will move right so those are our contents so we're going to change those with the help of javascript to display the content dynamically right so let's work on the another sections uh center point i think yeah uh just a minute i'm gonna once more i need to check that 
uh, I will create this one class on later. This time I want to use uh, center point, right? Mm, yeah, and this class is appeared on there right now. So we need to select that and we need to work on it to display the nodal or circle. So I'm going to use background hash like this one and I'm going to use width 10 pixel, height also 10 pixel and I'm going to use position is absolute then I'm going to use top 50% and also left 50% then I'm going to use transform translate and negative 50% negative 50% means it should be displayed in the center of the balls so what are you do 50% right now as you can see and also inside the nodal uh, or center point I will use the after so content none and I'm going to use background where it will be primary color, uh, width 5 pixel, height also 5 pixel, then I'm going to use position as absolute, and I'm going to use top 50%. I'm going to get that. Also, I'm going to get something like this one and just paste on set, and you are able to see right now as you can see. Perfect. And also we need to work on few and other classes like that uh, time. So I'm gonna use font size is 60 pixels is best. And that is I'm gonna use color is hash a, -A, -A. and font size I'll use 40 pixel. Letter spacing I will use uh, 0.3 pixel and text text down form. Uh, it's uppercase, yeah. So I'm gonna use that, but I need to add the class class circle. So uh, that dot circle in the circle, I'll use background with the wall, background color is best, wall, and primary color, color is wall, secondary color and yeah first we're gonna change the properties because sometimes we are facing problem i need to use background color and also this will background color background color right so say and look at that perfect yeah then i need to use border radius inside there is a 50 percent height is uh, 80 pixel uh, with also same 80 pixel then i'm going to use display inline flex and align it on center justify content center and i will use line height 80 pixel and also i will use the transition because i will add the transition effect 0.5 sn like that and i'm going to use font size 12 pixel as well so, and yeah it's perfect right now as you can see so let's remove the oh, where is my container like that so i need to remove that and right now as you can see so let's move on the js so in the js the step number one you need to get the data from the html document and store that inside your project so let's do this so i'm going to use our element document at selector so select the whole and this will be minute element so inside that you need to use minute and this will this will the second element this is a variable so we need to use second class name and that is time element and inside that we need to add the time class right and also we need to use that element and inside that we need to add the dead uh, yeah that and uh, this will be toggle element I'm gonna use toggle I don't need that so. so first of all I need to add the event when user will click on the button then I want to change to dark mode to light mode right so in dark and light mode so toggle element uh, i'm going to use toggle btn is best btn 
So we may select that. Add a listener, click event, and I'm gonna pass in the E parameter, run the function. So I need to use just my const HTML. So I need to select document dot query selector. So first of all, you need to select the HTML tag, and then you need to use if HTML class list dot contains means I have a class name. Which class name? Dark. Then come into the if body. Otherwise, come into the else body. In the if body, I need to use HTML dot class list dot remove which class dark class, and then we need to um, get the data. Which data? Text. So e dot target dot inner HTML e dot target and uh, yeah and now HTML is I'm gonna use dark mode. So if the dark mode is contains means the class have a dark mode then come into the F body and uh, run the, this one code otherwise come into the else body in the else body and need to get the same thing but inside there I need to use add dark class and display the content light 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 mode so those are content those are content will assign inside the button so let's look at that what happened right now as you can see perfect so our first problem has been solved so let's move on the next one so in the next one we need to create an object const uh, create an array in the array just a minute in the array I have a content inside my course dot so I need to get the text like Sunday Monday and so on so far that's it the next thing is you need to get the month so month month and assign that so I'm gonna get the month as well from there and I'm gonna paste it so so I have a days and months right so we're gonna use those um, content inside of our project to display the days and months after that I need to create a function that I help us to do something means uh, display the time from uh, one second to second and so on so far so inside that we're gonna use all of the things so I need to call this function outside of there so inside the function step number one you need to get the um, and date and assign the date inside the time object uh, I mean time variable you need to use that like this one then you can call the time to get the month day date hours minutes and seconds and you can do the anything else to getting the data and display the data inside your page so let's do that so I'm gonna get the month month so I'm gonna target my time dot get month this is a built-on function and also I'm gonna use same thing to get the day time dot get day time dot time dot get day day like that cons dot dead time dot get that const and hours I'm gonna select the times uh, yeah times dot get hours but inside the hours in a minute I'm gonna use that but after getting the hours inside the variable we need to add the if else meant if else statement to display the content means after the 12 of clock we will able to see 13 14 and 15 but I want to uh, display after 12 to 1 2 3 so I need to use the condition on there so let's uh, use const and I'm gonna use hours for clock and I'm gonna select my hours variable like this one and then I'm gonna use greater than equal to 30 then call my hours variable and modulus by 12 otherwise come into the else statement to display the hours like that so we're gonna use this one variable to display the current uh, time uh, means 12 o'clock 11 o'clock after 12 o'clock we will get the one two three four and so on so far right 
so let's uh, add const and this time I want to add minutes minute dot uh, no time dot get minute minutes and also I'm gonna add the same thing but this time we get seconds right so this will be seconds and finally we need to use the am and pm means when when the time period will move on the 12 o'clock then the display am and pm right so we need to use same condition but inside there i need to use am pm this is my variable select the hours variable like this one and then you need to use greater than equal to 12 then come into the pm otherwise come into uh, like that so that's it for the getting data and use some conditions so i need to work on the map function to uh, rotate the time period so let's do that so i go to my course and i need to get const and this is a function by the way i need to paste it outside of one function uh, just a minute i need to get that and paste on there right and also just a minute just a minute i need to check that the first one is written times by and divide by and plus by yes so this is a function with the name of scal and inside they have a four parameters num in in min in max out min out max those parameters so inside the function have a written keyword so we will return the complete data when we will pass the data inside this one where inside this one function so i have used the negative times and many other operations inside there that are help us to display the uh, rotation inside our clock so let's do the how you can do that so it's very cool and interesting section so i need to select my uh hover element and inside the function remember that you need to use style dot transform and use literal template inside the literal template you need to go on style at css so this is hover translate negative 50 percent negative 100 percent and so on so far so you need to get this one data and paste on there so we need to change this one right this one just like this so i'm gonna change it and use taller and inside there i need to display the dynamic data so i need to target my scal function like this one use parenthesis inside the parenthesis you need to pass four parameters the first one is the hours hours clock this one this one function uh, this one variable that will get the clock 12 uh, after the 12 1 2 3 and like that the second parameter you need to pass on there the time period is zero where they start from 12 o'clock or 12 maximum number is 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 12 and then zero then i'm gonna move it 360 degree and after the uh, curly bracket we need to use deg means degree right so this is our hover so i need to get that and paste on there so we need to select the minutes minutes element and then we need to pass the minute variable in the minute variable we need to change few things like uh, 60 seconds have a minute and 360 degrees the same and yep everything is perfect we don't need to change anything else inside there yeah so i need to get that and we need to paste it and we need to change the seconds like that right oh uh, yeah it's seconds and the second have a same thing 360 and deg yeah so first we're gonna save it uh, uh, let's look at that what happened uh, inside the console if have any problem no everything is cool so i need to uh, use this one function after 
and 1000 seconds so I need to target this one function and uh, select my set timeout set timing function and I need to use 1000 seconds uh, it doesn't move right now guys I think uh, yeah I need to check the uh, yeah I need to de uh, display those uh, content inside our HTML document right so after that I need to select time element right that inner HTML and we need to select that uh, I need to select the little template dollar and then I'm gonna use horse o'clock and colon dollar and then minutes inside that I will use a uh, condition less than 10 uh, less than 10 uh, just a minute um, this will be less than 10 actual template in a minute uh, yeah it's a minute so I'm gonna use a little temple one more time uh, I think yeah I will try to use that so this is a time period I'm gonna add minute like that and this is a this one okay and this is a less than a minute less than 10 come into the rc statement the rc statement i need to target column uh, minutes right so yeah it's perfect and after that i need to target the am and pm variable like that so i think it should be display uh where is probably in a html like there okay I need to check that what is problem right now inside there mm, guys I think something's wrong so I need to do this one but I'm not doing that mm, yeah I think yeah it's uh, it's problem right now guys inside there I need to use a style because I need to style that then our function will execute and we should see time period right now as, as you can see it's moving and yeah so um, guys I think something is wrong so I need to check the top of my page so time element time so I need to go on my index HTML. yeah yeah it's a mistake guys as you can see this is a time so we need to select that and i think it should be yeah it's working right now guys but the problem is my uh seconds uh line is stable so oh just a minute so this is a minute let's come and 36 degree and minutes okay I used two times minutes so I need to select the seconds element so it should be removed right now perfect and the last thing I need to add that so I need to get that and paste it inside there I need to target just a minute I need to select the debt element because I need to display the debt and select it use dollar little template dollar curly brackets and i need to select my days array inside the array i need to pass my day variable right and use comma dollar and this will be month array and inside that i need to pass my month variable right and yeah after that i need to select spend egg just a minute i will get the spend egg from there and I'm gonna paste it inside this one. I need to select my debt like that, so and this is a month, and yeah, it's months and months. Yeah, it's perfect right now. As you can see, guys, everything is cool, but I think uh, set time out 87. So let's fix this one 87 months, and uh, this is a month. 
this is a dead uh yeah months months mm, days day months months so i'm gonna use mom like this one so i need to get that paste in. so i think no not i'm gonna check that okay I need to use the inner you know, HTML guys. This is a mistake, guys. Right now, as you can see. So this is a project that we have made using HTML, CSS, and also JavaScript. Every one second, this function will execute inside the function inside the set interval function have a, or function that have all of the content that are used to uh, rotate over the lines, uh, right? And yeah. So this video is all about how you can get an analog clock using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.